Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wynette and you are tuning into Cooking with Win. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make cornbread. So for my cornbread today, I'll be using six boxes of Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix, six tablespoons of melted butter, six eggs, two cups of milk. I'll be baking my cornbread in this pan and I'll be using the Wesley Farm cooking spray to spray all grease the bottom of my pan. So this is a ready quick and easy recipe. I won't be making the bread out of scratch today. I'll be using this muffin mix to make my cornbread. These are the ingredients I'll be using for my cornbread. If you want to learn how to make this video, stay tuned and keep watching. So first thing I'll start off by whisking in my eggs, my milk and my butter. And then I'll be adding the Jiffy corn muffin to my mixture. So I need six eggs. I have my six egg crack in here. I'll go ahead and whisk it. And then later on, I'll be adding my butter and my milk. Once I have my egg all whisked, I'll add in my butter. I need six tablespoons of butter. I already measured the butter before melting it, so I'll just go ahead and pour my butter into the egg. Once you melt your butter, you want to make sure it's cool before adding it to the egg because you don't want it to stay hot or else it's going to cook your eggs. You just want to mix that as well. And then add in your milk. Mix that also. So once you have it all mixed, you can set this aside and then get a separate bowl and add in your corn muffin mix. I like to add them to a separate bowl and then try to crumble the um, lumps before adding it to my eggs and butter mixture. These are the lumps you don't want to add directly. Using a Jiffy corn muffin mix is quicker and easier than than making your cornbread from scratch. I'm also going to be making another video showing you guys how to make the cornbread from scratch. For this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make it with the Jiffy corn muffin mix. So once you have your muffin into a separate bowl like this, you want to use a clean hands. My hands already been clean and just break the lumps. Once you have gotten rid of the big chunks of lumps, you can go ahead and add it to your egg and butter mixture. Whisk it one more time before adding in your corn muffin mix. I just want to whisk to mix them in. So I realized the two cups of milk that I added was heating up. So I added about one third of a cup of ice cream milk. But you don't want it to be too watery. You want it like this consistency, okay? So once you're done mixing your batter like this, you want to set it aside and let it rest for five minutes before adding it to your pan. So I'm gonna set this aside for five minutes. I'll be using this pan instead of the um, small one so I'll go ahead and spray it in my pan you can use butter to grease the bottom of your pan or you can use the cooking spray to grease the bottom you also want to grease the sides and the bottom I guess so my three minutes is up 
So once your three minutes is up, you want to go ahead and mix it again before pouring it into the pan. So you just want to mix the batter one more time. So I'll go ahead and pour my batter in now. So shake it to even it. Um, I forgot to mention in the process of mixing up before you start mixing your ingredients, you want to go ahead and turn your oven on first. Turn it on to 355 degrees Fahrenheit before starting your mixture. Once you have your batter in the pan like this, you want to take it to the oven and bake it for 20 to 25 minutes or until it's golden brown. And you want to bake it in a 355 degree Fahrenheit oven. Okay, so keep an eye, make sure it's not burning. Once it's ready, I'll show you guys the final products. So this is the final product. I just took my bread out of the oven and I'll go ahead and use my toothpick method to test if my bread is dry. So you can just find anywhere on the bread and just chuck the um, toothpick in and then once your toothpick comes out clean, that means your bread is ready. My bread is ready, so I'll go ahead and cut a piece for you guys. So you see the bottom you want your bottom of your bread to be like this and the top to be this color so basically you want your bread to be golden brown it shouldn't be burned all right so you can see the cornbread dry completely nicely done so yes guys this is my cornbread this is the jiffy corn muffin mix this brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy watching this video so never forget to subscribe to my channel like, share, and leave me a comment if you have any question or concern. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.